Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today I am back with another thrifted haul to resell and share with you. So let's get into it. My first item is this outside the box item. I call them outside the box because I primarily sell like clothing, shoes, and accessories. Things like hard goods I have sold before but I just don't do it a lot. So kind of trying to stretch out my wings a little bit more so I decided on this. It's new and sealed in the box. This is a Planter's Choice Deluxe Kit. Um, it's a herb starter kit. So it just comes with four burlap pots and two drip trays, four packets of premium seeds, one nutrient-rich soil disc, four bamboo markers, pruning shears, and an instruction guide. So I just thought this was kind of cool for someone that wants to start off with uh, learning how to plant their own herbs. It says it comes with basil, cilantro, chives, and parsley seeds. So this is pretty cool. And I see that there are um, different ones that are listed depending on what it is that you're interested in growing. So I'm going to try this out and see how much I can get for it. This is something that I've washed and dried. This is outdoor research. It's a size medium. This is a men's jacket and I believe it is down filled. Let's see. Uh, yeah, well it says the shell is polyester then it's 80% goose down, down cluster, feathers, 20%. So just this jacket, I'm pretty excited. I just found a pair of pants by Outdoor Research and I don't usually find that brand a lot, but the one time that I have sold it, it did really well. I believe it sold for like $55. So I was excited to find a good substantial piece. Sorry, I'm trying to, um, I washed it, like I said, and I turned it inside out when I washed it. So I was trying to get the outside to show. There it is, outdoor research, and this is what it looks like, it's just a navy blue goose down. So I think this is pretty cool, I think this is going to perform very well, it smells really good too. Every now and then I will experiment with vintage, and this is one of those times. So this is called Norlander, it's a vintage sweater, I believe it was made in Scotland, 100% pure new wool. It says that it is petite size. And what really got me were these metal clasps on the front. I saw another one that sold for a higher amount, closer to 100, I believe. And they also had those metal clasps on the front. And then it's got like this fair aisle print. So just a really sweet kind of grandma sweater and I don't know like I said just these metal clasps are what made me want to go for it also the fact that it was made in Scotland anything that's like made in Ireland or Scotland yeah. I tend to think that it is a pretty good quality sweater so I decided I wanted to try this vintage piece another somewhat outside the box piece um well I was looking through the scarf section and this is actually a blanket but you know it went into the scarf section. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the brand name. <laughs> Where are you? Where is it? Oh, here we go. So this is a blanket by Roca Home. It says it was made in Portugal and it is majority made of lamb's wool. So it says 80% lamb's wool, 20% nylon. It is 50 inches by 68 inches and it is hand washable. But I just really like the colors and I was surprised that it was made out of lamb's wool. So a very pretty colorful plaid, nice and pink and green. And when I was doing research, um, I found out that people like to use these for like picnics or like, you know, when you're going to an outdoor theater or, you know, whatever, just something where you're going to be on the lawn. People like to use this blanket to uh, sit on. When I checked the comps, the comps actually look very well, especially if it was new, but this isn't new, but it's still in really good shape and it is a beautiful pattern. So just always on the lookout for little, you know, off things like this that don't cost too much. Like, I mean, $2 is a great deal for this and the comps look really good. I would think that maybe I could get about 50, 40, somewhere in that range. Like I said, it's even higher up if you have like new tags. I just, I got to do a little more research. So like my pricing is not like concrete, whatever I say in these videos, because I got to like feel it out and so you might see something different when I list it but just thought it was really pretty again only two dollars and the comps look good and I'm excited 
I have heard of this brand, but I think I found it before, but the piece didn't look like it was in the best condition. This is Black Halo. I believe it's an expensive brand. This is a size 8, and it is just this pleated, kind of textured, black A-line skirt. Nothing too fancy style-wise, but like I said, I kind of just wanted to try it out because I've heard good things about the brand name, and I want to see for myself. It does have this back zip closure here, so we'll see. This is a tried and true Judy Blue, Los Angeles. The size tag has been cut right here, so I'm not sure what size it is. It doesn't come off as, in my mind, I keep thinking like 28, 29, I think, maybe. But what I really like about it is the hems. So it's got like the fringe tassel kind of chewed hems at the bottom. I thought that was really cute. So I'll just measure it out. Judy Blue does very well for me. So I'm, you know, even without a size tag, I'm going to pick it up anyway. Especially considering that it doesn't look like it's a smaller size. And here is another Judy Blue. This is a 16W. So this is great because it's plus size. It has faux pockets. So no real pockets on the front. It does have real pockets on the back, and this is a pull-on stretch waist. I really like it when I find it in plus size. It's sort of like an ankle crop. I think, you know, simply because of the size, it's going to sell a little bit faster than the other ones. I usually don't have to sit on them for long anyway, but, like, it's even better if it's a plus size. Okay, this one went against my better judgment just a little bit, but it was killing me to put it back. So this is a new new tag made well. This is the stovepipe, and this is a skinny. Now it's a small size. It's a size 23, but not just a small size, but a 23 petite. So very small. And I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just you know I'm just saying compared to other sizes. The other thing is that it is like a skinny. I think it's a skinny. I don't think it's a straight. I I guess it's a skinny, but. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I lean towards the bigger sizes, but I mean, it's new with tags and I did see a comp that sold for the exact same size, same everything, uh, for $40, I believe it was. So I was like, ah, I hate to put it back. So I just went on and grabbed it. Hopefully I'll have the same luck as the other person that sold it for $40. I mean, if I do, then that would be great. Another smaller size, but I couldn't pass on it. Actually, I saw it and then I came back to it because I was like, that was a beautiful dress. I have to get it. This is an Anthropology brand. Skies are blue. It's an extra small, but I love this style with the little blousy sleeves with the elastic there. It's got this metallic in there. It does have like a couple of little straight threads or whatever, but it. I looked it over. I don't see any holes or anything. And it's just this beautiful tiered maxi dress, floral, with the red over the purple. I just thought this was a beautiful kind of peasanty. See? I just couldn't let it go. I was like, even if it is extra small, this is a beautiful dress. And I'm half tempted to try it on myself. I mean, I think I would probably wear like a small or a medium. But then, you know, sometimes things run a little bigger. So, I don't know. I got it to sell, but if it doesn't sell in a decent amount of time, I might end up keeping it for myself. Very cute. This is a brand I've never heard of before, but the color caught my attention because as you can see, it's so vibrant, kind of metallic, kind of shimmer, and it's leopard print. Very fun. This is called Gold Sheep, and it's a 2XL, so that's great. Uh, I don't know. When I checked the comps, it looked like it was doing okay, and then on top of that, it's a really cute print. Very colorful, very eye-catching, and then it's plus size too. So for $2, I threw it in my cart, and they're full length, so that's good. I think this is something that I saw at Marshall's before, called Lazy One. They're new with tag. So they were in the $2 bin, and then it's got like these angry crabs all over it, like Mr. Krabs, Krabby Patties. It's not Mr. Krabs, I'm just saying they're crabs, but I was like, sure, why not? Let's just try it. It's called the PJ Boxer Krabby, and it's a size large. So this is a brand that hasn't particularly performed well for me, but it is new with tags. It's a petite. It's a six petite, so it's like a small petite. However, it is a high-rise flare. This is cut from the cloth. This is the Natalie high-rise boot cut. I like the wash. 
I like it when the jeans are a little bit darker. And like I said, it's just a nice pair of high rise boot cut jeans. They look comfortable. They're new. So, I mean, I figure somebody might be interested in them. I may not get a lot, but honestly, sometimes it's hard to turn down just like what looks like a nice pair of jeans. I feel like they would fit me except for like, I think the petite would make them a little too short, but like these look like a really comfortable pair of jeans and they got like a little bit of stretch in them too. This is one that made me super excited because I have never found it before. So this is Carbon 38. This is a size extra small slash small, uh, like a pencil skirt. It's extremely stretchy. It has these ribbed side panels. It's black, but then it's got like the side panels with the little cream in between the mesh. I just freaked out. I don't even know why I went into the, the black skirt section. Sometimes I kind of like, you know, skim over the black skirts because I just assume it's all going to be like Forever 21 or whatever. And it just so happened that when I looked on this day, when I saw that 38, I freaked out because I know Carbon 38 is or at least was an expensive brand. And there are so many times where I would see Carbon to Cobalt and the other one that's just simply Carbon which is not the same, but when I saw the 38, I was like, that's the one. I finally found a piece by that brand. So I'm excited to add it to my closet and hopefully it will perform well. Mm, Levi's, I'm not super excited about it, but I mean, it's kind of hard to say no. So this is new with tag Levi's and these are a size 22 W and these are the classic straight mid rise. So new tag plus size, everybody likes Levi's. I feel like it will sell. I don't know how fast it'll sell, but hopefully if I price them, you know, decently, then I can get a, a quick sale off of them. Then we have same pair, except just these are 24 W. So even larger size, which is great. So I grabbed both of those. Lastly, I kind of regret doing this, picking this up, but it was in the $2 bin. Now, whether it was supposed to be there or not, I don't know. I think a worker put like a bunch of these in there and I don't know if they were supposed to be hung up, but they were like, for right now, they're just $2. So I grabbed this one. This is just like a uh, Care Bear, you know, and I guess it's unisex. They do have a picture of a guy on it, but it's just the Care Bear hood. Very cute. The clover on the tummy and it zips down, down to there. And I realized that I have sold this before. It's a, a brand called Briefly Stated. Yeah, Briefly Stated. And it says Union Suit, size small. So I had a gorilla suit one time and that one sold, but it took forever to sell. And I said, okay, I'm glad that finally got out of my closet. I will never pick up Briefly Stated again. I didn't know that this was Briefly Stated. I was just thinking, oh, it's Care Bears. So maybe that'll help it along. I just, I was like, well, it's $2, just grab it and go for it. So hopefully if I price it well, it won't take as long as the other one did to sell. Plus I think it's cute anyway. It's new with tags and it was affordable. So I grabbed it. So that's it. That's my haul. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.